Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. How are you doing this evening? Good. Hockey game's on. Exciting. Oh, first period. It's tied up. It's awesome. Let's get this done so we can watch the second period. Yeah. So you so, made you made an uh, an interesting trip today. I did. I went down to walk through a prospector's well client. Prospective we'll client, maybe. I'll say that, and just um, took a walk through his rental property. So um, now this is somebody that called you on YouTube after kind of hearing some of the stuff we were talking about on YouTube, right? Yeah, he did. He reached out a couple months ago. You know, I won't go into a lot of details because this court case is the hearing is on Monday, but I'll talk a little bit about the walkthrough. I won't give the location, but this has been going on um, the first time around with these folks. They put it back in good standing, et cetera, et cetera. Not them. It was from a charitable organization. Two months later, bang, fell apart. Put He put uh, the application in the L1 in December and now hearing is on Monday. That's how long it takes. Several months. Okay. The first time around he had to he had to take the money because it was bleeding. You know, it was expensive. They were dead behind 25000 So he got that. And again, two months later, um disaster again, it fell apart again and hasn't been paid. This is a brand new home, um, uh, town home. It was very and you got the picture, so I hopefully put those up. Yeah, um, I can share share the some of them. Yeah, I put them up, and it was disgusting, right? Extremely dirty, carpets destroyed, complete paint needed, just a lack of respect. So, if you're new to this game as an investor, or you're in positions like this, this is the results from the LTB that. Is back has so many backlogs and it's still doing things by Zoom. And that's why the delays are keep going on. And I'm just continuing to see landlords suffer through financial loss, financial, you know, um, stress, you name it, paying the bills, paying the insurance, paying Was the mortgage. Is this a garbage bag? That's garbage bag. So you guys see the place. And that I didn't take any pictures uh, of their possession. So I, 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 every bedroom was a disaster. Every room was a disaster. But they've asked, they asked me not to. So it's more to to get in there to know what we're in store for when we when the owner takes possession because he's going to get possession like there'll be something wrong and I we will do an updated video on the outcome from from the meeting on Monday coming up. So he's also put in a second application too just for non you know tardiness and in, in in continuous lates and stuff like that as a backup. So that hearing's in June. Just he. He hasn't gotten nowhere. So anyway, I won't go okay, too much. Okay, well, more. one thing, he he rented it out himself, right? Got the tenants himself. I think so. And they prey on these new folks. We know that, Yeah. right? They prey on them because they're it's fish bait. It's so easy, right? They don't ask the questions. They just, you know, they can tell by the, the, the ads, you know, they don't have the proper applications and we need credit checks and we need this and we need this and whatever. So they're preying on guys and, and gals like this, right? We, we've seen this more and more. But um, now he has hired a professional, a lawyer, and they're taking care of it. He's handed it over to a professional now, right? He has, but you know what? In saying that too, Diana, I don't think he, it's really benefited him to a great deal. I'll know more on Monday because I'm going to watch the, I'm going to watch the, the hearings. So, but he went to great lengths to try to get um, to a hearing date moved up. Gentleman lost his job end of March, continued paying. He went to local MPs, you name, went to the superintendent, landlord, tenant board, you name it. This guy has exhausted every avenue. And they all said no. See, we got the emergency hearing when the house was sold and the people were supposed to move in. And then we had to put them up in another house because the tenants wouldn't leave and they had nowhere to live, but we had a deal on the house. So right. we did get it moved up a bit quicker. Yeah. He was very, he was unsuccessful. Right. So but for non-payment, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Not going to get it. Not That's, for that. Well, not for that. And and it should be right. You know, like how, how much more can people, can these landlords like, can you imagine not covering your more, it's just the, the stress and looking at the property and, 
you know, the exterior, the lawn. I said, get on, get someone there this you know weekend, start maintaining it because when you go to sell it, we don't want to be dealing with lawn. You want to get someone on top of this now, get someone there to go cut the lawn, clean it up a little bit, maintain it, whatever, fertilize it. Well, we were even talking in carpets alone, it's probably going to be five to $6,000, right? Because they're ruined. Oh, I agree. Minimum, minimum. And then you got to pay the labor to take all that stuff out, right? So luckily, the, the, the whole, there was no holes on the walls, but they're, they're so dirty in fingerprints and crayon. Like you wouldn't let, I don't know, you wouldn't let us, your worst enemy sleep in this place. This is how, I wore two masks. I wore two masks walking in. Wow. And I, and I, I didn't touch anything until the way I would touch the door handle. I went, son of a gun. <laughs> of course, I had hand, I brought hand sanitizer with me. So get out. And this was a nice area. This was a really nice area. Brand uh, new house. Yep. Two years old. They've been there for a year and a half. So it goes to I show. Know I've done that. I've done the elbow trick on the, on the light switches, you know? Oh, God. I wasn't touching nothing. It, it was really bad. So I don't know. Anything you want to say to viewers to who are, you know, thinking about maybe getting into this business, they should be hiring professionals to guide them the right way. They should never yeah, be. Yeah, and, and if you find yourself, like, I know that... I, I know that there are people like landlords that are in trouble who have already lost a lot of money and they don't want to hire somebody. I know. But I mean, you're a real estate agent. I'm a real estate agent. I've hired people. You have to. I think you come to a point where you go, you know what? I can't navigate navigate this minefield. And I think it's a time as I need help now to navigate it. Yeah, because right. if you do one little thing wrong... I know the, the whole thing gets thrown out. And not only that, what I found is when you have a landlord and a tenant and the landlord, the landlord's um, emotions are running high. They're, they're ah. pissed off. They're Stress. pissed off. Agree. And, and now the tenant is mad too. How do you come to any kind of agreement or serve them papers? My guy yeah. was jumping off the balcony, so I couldn't serve him. I had to yeah. pay a server to serve him. Yeah. So yeah. like, unless you, you get to a point where you need somebody that's unbiased and in the middle that can calmly talk to both parties. Yeah. At some point, I think for sure at some point, um, or at least navigate how to, to, well, to even to serve the documents, they can so say the documents, do the documents correctly, you know, They've got the experience, right? Protocols. Let's try this. Let's try that. Give them solutions, right? Because, you know, we've done a lot of content on this subject. You know, we've come in through a lot of those forums, a lot of Facebook groups who who offer support. What's that one? Is it open form or open door.ca? Remember that one that China invest open door.ca, I think, where she started that. She was a she was a, a victim and Printing on her property for non-payment and you name it. So she started something and I encourage people to go there because you can upload all kinds of documents. So it's almost like a mini search engine. If you're looking for, for something in there, you can kind of see if, you know, oh, wow, that tenant's been evicted from here. There's the actual documents. So is it open door? Or are you checking? No. Yeah. I'm checking. It's not open door. It's not. Check that out because I want to make sure we give the right one. I forget the name because we don't, we talk about it, but then we kind of goes in one area. We forget about it. Open form, okay. open door. Um, It's the landlord reporting service, right? Well, you can try that, but I don't see what happens. With Front it. lobby. Front lobby is another one. That's another, that's another one. That's, that's one that's good too. Yeah. Oh, that's another one too. Yep, front lobby is another one in there. Um, I forget the name. I just because we we talk about it, and then we, you know, we don't go back to this subject for three or four weeks, and then we kind of. I think oh, it's I been a couple months. When I'm open. I don't know. I encourage people to go to, to YouTube and watch. There's uh, CBC put out a couple uh, recent stories on this, and this is, and they talk about some of these groups too. So, what do you channel CBC? And you'll catch some of the so stories that they have interviewed three or four landlords. Um, it was about 30 minutes. They go through some of the struggles, some of the um, pitfalls that they've encountered, delays, delays, um, you know, the stress 
they're, they're, it's it's real live people talking about you know being victims to to this what's going well, on. well there's facebook groups and there's groups everywhere now yeah, there is i just forget it and i apologize for that but if they go to cbc on the youtube channel they can they can get some more information from that because she's even doing a bit of speaking on this one too so it's good too there's some support up there just you know, don't do this alone. Even if you're if you're new well, to this. Well, they says there's there the top three tenant screening services in Canada is single key, rent check, and front lobby. Yeah, they can do. But that's security. not the one that that's not the one we were talking about. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. I, it doesn't matter. It, it, I, we, if you go back and re watch some of our other videos on this, we we do talk about that and stuff like that. I drew a blank, so. I shouldn't have did it up, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're getting old, Mark. <laughs> We're getting old. Um, but just you know, just don't do this. Get help. Get resources. Do the right thing. And there, there. I think there's a lot of landlords out there too, Diane, that have been very successful at this and had tenants, long-term tenants, and maybe you know they their tenants decided to leave and they're they're starting all over again after maybe eight or ten years. It's common to have. I've had long-term tenants in my places before, so. Just don't do this alone. Just because you were successful once doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Well, the problem is, is that that even even in the couple of the articles we went through, it said that because like even five, six years ago, the, the LTB and everything moved faster. You wow. didn't really have the professional tenants using the system the way you do now. Oh, no. Because they know the system. They they, they know. And if this it's guy's changed. Guy, it's changed. And, and, and one of the questions that... I got to ask, say, well, does it look like they're moving moving out? Not at all. They're not moving out at all. They got another eight. They have another two months there, guaranteed, before the sheriff gets there, if they're successful at the hearing, right? They're not moving. Yeah, anything. even if the landlord is successful at the hearing on yeah. Monday, they're going to get at least 60 days. Minimum. They don't, they don't kick them right out. And Minimum. then you got to wait for a sheriff, which I heard right now is three to four months. Well, that's the delay. You get the order, but then you got to get it executed by the sheriff. So, so this is the things, right? That, 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 that people need to really, really take into account, right? Like, I don't know. It was, it was scary seeing, but you know, scary when I say scary, I mean, just holy cow, financial stress, the, the work involved in, you know, hiring labor and people for fixing it. I mean, God, it's a disaster. So I don't really think, I think we'll do an update on this though. Uh, yeah. We'll make Three part I want to know what happens when you attend the court hearing. I want to hear well, how gonna, it went. I'm going to exactly. I'm going to tape some comments of it, and uh, we probably won't broadcast them until we know that everything's good. But I think there will be do a couple uh, follow up videos to this. And to well, and, and let us know how these stupid hearings work. Right, and I'll get in there after they've gone. I'll get in there and I'll take you know multiple pictures. I'll do some videos that we can show. I think the more that we that people see that this is such a serious problem in this province, that maybe maybe some politician will have the balls to maybe support it. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, but anyway. Okay, remember if you like, give us a like, give us a share, and follow for more information. And drop us a comment. Yeah, comments are great. We love them. See great. ya. Bye.